during end rope preparations we use a plumb wire to tie where rope peeling will end now after tying the rope using a plumb wire then you peel it using a plier you peel it using a plier then you straighten out each individual rope strands yes they are metallic you straighten them out using a plier for easy bending straighten the rope strands with care because they tend to pierce hands you have to be careful so now after straightening the individual rope strands it's now time to bend our individual rope strands you bend them inwards each rope strand is bent inwards facing the others you bend them all together but carefully because they are so piercing you have to be careful here so let me zoom in for clarity you bend the rope strands facing inwards the strand has to face the other strands okay yes you bend them they will make up a knot you bend it you press it with a plier So now, after bending the individual rope stands, it's now time to tie them together. You tie them together using a plumb wire. You tie them each using the end. You tie them up together to form a knot. A knot will be bigger in size compared to the, in the, the initial rope for easy entering into the thimble rod. Now, after tying the rope strands together, then the knot is now pulled back into the thimble rod. The thimble rod is that black rod where the rope is entered. It cannot go through because the hole is now small. It will be firm, like you, like you can now see, it can no longer move out if you apply tension on the steel rope behind. It's now good for flexing. So now this is our flux metal. It is melted through a small saucepan using a coil. A coil is heated using electricity power. So now the molten flux metal is poured into the thimble rod with the knot and it now solidifies quickly. Hold the knot firmly, it will never move out. So these are the finished the ropes. See? The poor flux inside it holds firmly. Oh. It's still hot.